Hey guys, what's going on? Long time no see. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Nicole and I do YouTube videos that are beauty related. And for anybody else who's been here for a while, I am so sorry I've been MIA for about a week. I know I say this every time, but when I don't make videos for like a week, I feel like I just, I don't feel good. I feel like I'm slacking. I feel like I'm disappointing you guys, but my personal life has been so crazy work my like actual nine to five is absolutely insane right now so i just like at the end of the day want to sleep and then i have a lot of other personal life issues like we all do going on that's just taking up a lot of time lately and i'm also getting sick if you couldn't hear that so i kind of have like a triple whammy going on right now but i have picked up a lot of makeup items I mean, not a lot, but like a handful in the last like three weeks or so. So I thought it would be fun to come on here, beer, beer face, bear face, and just kind of talk you through some of the things I picked up. I've been kind of focusing on skincare. I know I talked about this in my like summer makeup video. In the summer, I really like to focus on my skin and I try to wear as little makeup as possible and really try to like get my skin right so I've been trying to focus on more skin items so you're gonna see a lot of skin in here but I've also picked up a couple other items so if you're interested in just sitting down having a chit chat with me like we're friends and just kind of like talking about some new things we picked up go ahead and keep watching all right so the first thing that's been really really irritating me lately are my under eyes I have some of the largest bags under my eyes of like anybody I know and I know I don't get a lot of sleep because again my work is crazy and my life is just kind of like doesn't allow me to sleep that much so I've been trying to really focus on my under eyes and I haven't liked how my concealers have been sitting I feel like it's just creepy creepy not creepy creepy I guess kind of creepy uh, but mostly creepy under my eyes and I'm trying to work on that so I've picked up two new eye products that I am testing out I don't want to like recommend any of these yet because I have not been trying any of these except for one thing well two things because one's an item that I used to use all the time but we'll get to that later but the two eye products I picked up are the Sundari or Sundari Sundari maybe chamomile eye oil this is what the packaging looks like and uh, it just has this little kind of like elephant guy kind of reminds me of like drunk elephant vibes there and I'll show you the inside in a second let me just read the back it says chamomile eye oil soothes and replenishes delicate skin around eyes nourishing chamomile oil and emollient avocado oil nourish and soften the skin use daily to nurture skin it says somewhere maybe it's on the back oh yeah apply a drop of the oil to the fingertips and that's really all you need the tiniest tiniest drop then gently press the oil to the delicate skin around the eye so let me show you what the little package looks like it looks like this and it's basically just like a, an opening at the top so it's not like a roller ball or anything like that I saw um, SML XO Stephanie Letta talk about um, an eye oil with like a rose quartz I think that's what it was rollerball that she uses to help her allergies and I thought maybe this would help me out I like it it smells really nice really fresh really natural almost like citrusy it smells really nice but it is very oily like I said I literally just put my finger on it and go like that and then I take that and transfer it to my other finger and work it under and I wear glasses and contacts and I feel like at night I have to really only put this on right before I go to bed because if I have my glasses on I always take my contacts out around like right when my work day is over because I feel like my eyes are exhausted from staring at a screen all day it transfers onto my glasses and I don't like that very much but I wouldn't put this on I just think it's too oily to put this on during the day under makeup I think it might break your makeup up so I've just been using this at night and I do like it I feel like my eyes do feel really nice and refreshed in the morning and it is light however it transfers to my glasses even with the tiniest amount which is kind of annoying so if that would annoy you you might not want to pick this up but like I said I don't want to quite recommend it yet because I've only used it maybe eight times and like I said I like it I don't see any differences yet but we'll see I'm just trying to try things out and see like what is the right thing for my under eyes so 
I'm liking it, but I can't like recommend it to you yet. Um, uh, I'll talk about that in a second. The other eye product I picked up is the Glytone Age Defying Antioxidant Eye Cream. It has caffeine and red tea flavonoids. And it says 0 0.1, so I'm not sure what the 0.1 is. My friend works at a dermatologist office and she recommended this, so I trust her and I just went with it. So basically it just says on the back, put it around your eye and around your orbital bone. I really do like this and I especially like this under makeup. I do feel like it does plump a little bit and it goes so well under my concealer. It doesn't break it up at all and it just provides the hydration I need. And I really like the little applicator of it. It's just like a really, really tiny little, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, squeezy tube. <laughs> So yeah, again, I don't want to recommend it yet. This I've been using a little longer than the eye oil. I've probably been using this for about two and a half weeks and I like it, but I don't want to recommend it until I fully like use it for a few months at least. But yeah, I am liking it and I do feel like it's giving me that plumping effect I like. And my concealer is going on better with that than with nothing. I used to just use CeraVe. I use the moisturizer in the tub their moisturizing cream and I usually just like take that under my eyes because I get Melia really easy if you don't know what Melia is it's like little white basically like dots that look like pimples but you can't pop them you have to go somewhere to get them like basically poked otherwise you'll end up like really bruising your skin don't ever do it I tried to do it once bad bad idea so I need to use a really 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 light eye cream if I'm gonna use an eye cream which is why I always just use a CeraVe I just take up what I had and it never gave me Melia but these two are not giving me Melia so far so fingers crossed that doesn't happen <laughs> so on that same note um, with the chamomile eye oil it came with the night cream so again this just says apply a small amount of moisturizer to the face like a typical nighttime moisturizer and it says it's called Neem, I think. Neem Night Cream. I'll show you guys what the package looks like once again. Neem Night Cream contains the most powerful and comprehensive ingredients around the Himalayas to help skin restore its luster. Neem extract combined with jojoba oil, geranium oil, and shea butter serves to soften and tone the skin, bringing about new radiant appearance. So this stuff, again, smells really good, and I just use this for the first time last night it's got kind of a like greenish bluish color to it um and i liked it a lot it's it's moisturizing but it's still light enough so these two came together and i actually picked these up from costco.com how weird is that but i got an email from like costco talking about some kind of beauty product and then i ended up going in their beauty section and i picked both of these up so I remember reading somewhere about like Costco and like possibly selling like fake products, but I don't think they would do that. So I don't know. I, I don't know, but I picked them up from Costco and I like it and they were affordable. I think both of these were like 49 bucks, which is a really, really good deal. So I can't comment on this yet, except I like how I felt when I woke up. My, my skin felt very, very moisturized. It still felt light when I went to bed, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll get back to you on these products after a few months. So again, sticking with skincare, like I told you, this is definitely a skincare video. SkinCeuticals Sport UV Defense uh, Sunscreen in SPF 50. I have been using this every day. Oh, one more product, one second. Let me go grab it, I forgot about that. So before I talk about the sunscreen, let's talk about retinol so i used a retinol for like maybe a month but i was getting really really regular peels so i could barely use it i was getting like a peel a month and when you're getting a peel and i peel for like a, a week and a half like you don't really want to use retinol in between if you are getting them consistently every month so i i haven't been getting them as consistently because i just don't want to peel as much this is the Skin Medica Retinol Complex, and this is 0.5%. Um, and yeah, it's just a retinol. If you guys don't know about retinol, look into it. It's supposed to be very, very good for your skin, and as you age, something that you should definitely work into your skincare. I like it. It's like a, um, just a, I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I can do this. It's just a, like, lotion type of, 
formula. I have used one that was like a uh, like silicone-y feeling formula and I didn't like that. So this one I like a lot and the last time I used retinol I used like 0.25% and I've got like doubled it now and gone up and I haven't had any kind of bad effects. So I've only been using this for about a week and a half so I've used it like three times so far and my skin isn't reacting in any way. So I don't want to recommend this yet again because I just started but I am really enjoying it so far I do feel like my skin feels a little softer especially in my nose my nose likes to do weird things and I think that peels and I dropped something let me just grab it I feel like peels really help and if you're not peeling retinol is something you should definitely use and again it says like just like you would with any retinol start slow so start like two times a week then work yourself up to like three times four times and then every day you really want to start retinol slow if you're going into it and consult a dermatologist of course if you're going to start so that leads me into the next product that i've been recently using the skin sport uv defense sunscreen broad spectrum spf 50 looks like this everybody kind of knows the skin name at this point i feel like L'Oreal owns it or something like that. Some drugstore brand owns it, but don't let that turn you off. SkinCeuticals is a really good brand. I really enjoy them and I've been enjoying this. This is a thicker um, SPF sunscreen, but I really like it. I actually haven't tested putting it on and then applying makeup over it yet, so I'll have to do that. But you can see it doesn't leave any kind of like strange white cast or anything like that. And it definitely goes right into my skin it it absorbs immediately it does have an SPF scent a hundred percent but I've really really been enjoying this and you need to use an SPF like every day to be honest but if you are using retinol SPF every single day you can really get sunburn easy and ruin your skin if you're using retinol and not using SPF so that's why I incorporated this I used to use the CeraVe SPF I ran out of it again my friend who works the dermatologist gave me this one and I'm enjoying it and you can totally use this on your body if you wanted to so yeah I've been enjoying this a lot but I'm not like totally loyal to this yet so if you guys recommend any kind of SPF that would be good under makeup and something that's like light please recommend them below I would love to try them out let's see skincare one more one more thing so I recently did my best friend's sister's wedding makeup this past Saturday and I wanted to rebuy the Embryolisse, I don't know how to pronounce this you guys, Lat Creme Concentrate. Everybody kind of knows what this is, I think. I used this all the time when I used to do wedding makeup. This was the moisturizer I always used on all clients because it works for pretty much everybody normal to oily skin absorbs immediately and keeps your skin just super hydrated throughout the day so looks like that once again there's no flashback or anything and it just provides the best base a lot of people just use this as a primer on clients and it is something I highly recommend I have like I said used this for many many years and it's kind of like a cult in the beauty makeup industry so yeah I mean smells I don't want to say it smells like nothing. It almost has like a kind of like, you know, like what your grandma would smell like scent type of thing, but it's very, very light and very minimal. And I have not had a client ever, ever react to this stuff. So I really like this a lot. And again, I picked this up at Costco or Costco.com and it was like, I think 40 bucks again, 49 maybe for two of these, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm enjoying that. I'm going to keep that in my kit and I'm going to start using it when I do my makeup as well, just to really keep the hydration in there. So that is it as far as skincare, I think. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and just move on to a couple of the makeup items. So the first thing that I picked up, Macy's was doing like this, I think it was 10 days of glam is what it was called. And I wanted two items. That's it from that thing. I wanted this, the Lancome, Lancome not Lancome, uh, La Base Pro. And I have been using this for about a week now. And I used it on uh, Kathleen when I did her makeup for her wedding. And I love it. This feels so good. Like, I don't know why this isn't talked about anymore. Does this have silicone in it? Let's see. 
doesn't have the ingredients on this and I threw away it does it's got to have silicone I can tell by the way it feels but holy moly you guys when you put this all over the skin it leaves the perfect base for makeup application just a silky smooth amazing feel I am loving loving this now I don't think it fills pores in even though it does have like a silicone base I don't think it fills pores in all that well oh it has no scent I don't know why I'm saying oh <laughs> I, I'm like smelling some of the skin product that I put on but I just I love this so far it is amazing it's oil free it's a perfecting makeup primer with a smoothing effect but like I said I don't think it really fills in pores too well but I'm just absolutely loving this so far if you haven't tried this go out and try it I like I said I've only had it for about a week and a half or something like that but I've been using it on myself and I used it on Kathleen and we both loved it so very very happy with this purchase the other thing I was trying to get was the Bobbi Brown face base which I set my alarm for midnight I'm gonna vent to you guys for a second set my alarm for midnight and I went on, put it in my cart. It was both, they're normally $60. I think everybody kind of knows about that, the vitamin enriched face base. So I put it in my cart at midnight. It kept showing at $60. So I was like, okay, I tried for like 15 minutes. I was like, okay, go to bed, set it for one, try again then. Tried again at 1 a.m., same thing happened. The, the discount wasn't reflecting in the cart. Tried again at 2 a.m., same thing happened. So then I was like, okay, well maybe, I, I in my head I was like, well maybe 2 a.m. will work because maybe it waits for like Pacific time so everybody has a chance, I'm in Central time. And when it didn't work at 2 a.m. I was like, screw this, I'm just gonna go ahead and try in the morning. I happened to wake up on my own at 3.30 probably because I was really irritated. Went to put it in my cart and they were all sold out. So I was super, super bummed about that because I really wanted to try that. But I just figured like, I can get it for $60. I just like wanted that deal and maybe the people who bought them like needed to get them on a deal so it's okay. It's going to work out if I need to try it. But yeah, I was really excited to try that and I didn't get to get it. So that's my little vent session. I was super irritated at that. But I'm glad I got the Lancome one. I think this is normally like 40 bucks, maybe 39 and I got it for like 40% off of that which is really good. So I'm happy about that. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I recently picked up this Morphe sponge and I really, really, really like it. It gets really big. I've already got like a hole in it. I think this was somewhere around seven bucks. So, or like a scratch, I guess, a ding. I don't know what you would call that. So this might be one of those like cheaper sponges that gets like ripped quicker than the Beauty Blender, but I'm really liking this. It feels really good. It feels very similar to the LA Girl Pink Sponge that I was obsessed with. So wanted to mention that if I haven't already. Uh, three more things, guys. I know I've probably, let me see how long I've been talking. 19 minutes. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> My camera's probably gonna shut off soon. So I picked up the Stila uh, liquid eyeshadows the ones that everybody magnificent metals I think is what they're called so I picked up three different colors do you say it on here yes I picked up bronze bell kitten karma and enchantress so I'm gonna make a whole video on me trying this out for the first time like first impressions can I do it with my hooded eyes so I'm excited about that again I got this on a deal Ulta if you're a platinum member sometimes has deals so these were like half off so they were like 14 bucks which is really exciting and I've always been curious about these with my hooded eyes so I'm gonna give them a try with you guys we'll see how that goes camera died just like I thought it was going to but last two products I have the Scandinavia makeup primer spray this is just a little bottle of it and the makeup finishing spray the bridal version I have the big version but I left it at Kathleen's house because some other girls needed to use it I I, I don't want to comment too much on the primer spray because like I like primer sprays I think they're nice but I I don't like 100% believe in them, I guess. I believe more in like a primer like this. And I think like primer sprays can be replaced by like rose water from Whole Foods, which is like seven bucks. But the bridal makeup finishing spray, is this one the bridal? This one isn't the bridal. They like sent these tiny ones along with the big bridal one that I got. The best, the best setting spray I've ever used. Better than Urban Decay better than anything I absolutely love it it is so nice I will definitely be repurchasing the bridal finishing spray from Scandinavia so good I think Scandinavia was like the first um, setting spray I ever used I actually won it on YouTube in like 2006 
2007, maybe even 2006. I cannot remember who it was. It was like a big YouTuber back then who I used to love. She always used this like NARS gloss, like white Russian or something like that. I can't remember who it was, but I loved her and I somehow won that and that's how I was turned on to it. So I knew I'd like this stuff and I just like was reminded of how good it is and how it really seals your makeup in all day. So that stuff is really, really great. Now, before I throw things everywhere, let's talk about my absolute favorite purchase. So here's the thing guys, I always want to like set my lashes down when I wait for them to dry, right? Like anybody would. And I constantly knock them over because they, let me grab lashes so I could show you what I'm talking about. So lashes are obviously shaped funky, these ones I use, so they're sticking to each other. They're shaped like an eyeball. So when you go to let them like sit to dry on a surface, nine times out of 10, they end up falling over, right? So that annoys the crap out of me because I wait for my glue to dry and then my glue ends up on the table and I have to re-glue it. So I have been thinking like why is there not a tool to help lashes dry and maybe there is and I couldn't find it when I googled it. But the first thing that came to mind was like you know those pictures that those like they would have like a little box on the bottom and then a little like springy thing and then like an alligator clip and like you'd like put a picture in it and it would just sit like a picture frame originally i was like oh you had those a while ago go look for them i couldn't find them so then i was like okay i'll go on amazon i guess a lot of people use them as like um like name seeding things as well at least on amazon there were like hundreds of them when you were trying to buy them you had to buy like a hundred and i was like screw that so i somehow ended up coming across this little guy which is called like helping hands on Amazon and it has two obviously which is exactly what I was looking for so look at this and maybe I'm crazy and I know this is obnoxious to have on your table but I am loving it because let me put one of these down like imagine glue needing to glue your lash right you just stick it in here these are not like super super tight and I was thinking maybe I would even like put a piece of felt at some point between to kind of like tone it down a little bit so it doesn't like dent the, I'm putting it the wrong way, dent the lash in any way, but all you have to do is put it in there, the glue is sticking to my finger, like that, glue it, and then it just sits there. Let me put the other one in so you guys can see. It'll just sit there and hang out until you are ready to glue your lashes like I'm gonna get out of the way. Tell me that is not like the best. I think this is the best thing I picked up because that is one of the most annoying, the most annoying things ever. So I am super excited about this and this thing was $7. This is very sturdy, the bottom. Like I read a lot of things, I guess people use this for like jewelry making. People were saying like, oh, it's annoying, it broke. Like, if you're using this for lashes, this is not gonna break. And still, like, having that, like, once the glue's dry, you just take your tweezers, unclip, and pop it right on the eye. I think this is one of the best things I've thought of. I wonder if anybody else has thought of this. It's YouTube, I'm sure they have, but I think that's the best thing ever. So I'll definitely link that and everything else below, but that is it, you guys. I think I've probably been talking for about 25 minutes at this point, so. I'll let you go but yeah I just wanted to come on here and say I miss you guys I'm sorry I've been so busy lately but I will get back to it next video is going to be trying these babies out I'm really excited for that and yeah let me know what's new in your life have you tried any new beauty products skin products anything do you think I'm crazy for buying this and using it for what I'm using it for let me know below otherwise thank you so much for spending some time with me today if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really means the world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.